Amare says she's received much hatred from Ghanaians since returning to the country. Kobe, let me start from you. Um, you say she doesn't feel loved. I think at a point she she, she has a point. Let me let me uh, make it sound that way because she has a point. Um, I'm one of the few people who has been reechoing some of her works. I feel like um, she's not being noticed that much in our part or in our country. It's like everybody is okay. We know she's a musician from our side, but people I, I'm not sure people even know her song that well, and she's not being accepted and i wouldn't blame anybody but i think if if you do something that would say read the room if if you look at the song that most of the people in this town are um or in this country let me say most of the people in this country are currently jamming to and you look at the angle you are coming from it would always be difficult for you to penetrate into the system and that's one thing that has worried our sister marie very much because she's doing well if you look at some of her visuals her videos are, are almost nominated almost all the time at the VGMs for music video of the year. Some of her songs, I don't, I, I can't even remember some of the titles, but she's got very good songs and she has that alternative kind of sound. Her sound is always alter. It's not the normal sounds that you hear almost everywhere. She has this alternative sound to her music, and at a point it gets frustrating. And two years in a row, she's had the chance to perform at the biggest music awards in our country. And, there is always one or two reasons why she doesn't come for the event. And as a person, if you keep doing music and you keep getting such reactions, it's like someone or something is fighting against you in the industry or wherever you find yourself. So you might term it as hate, but I, I feel she shouldn't use the word hate. Hate is a very strong word to use. Maybe people have not accepted her at that, at that point. She's not been accepted that much in our side of the in our side of the country. I don't know if you can remember any of her songs that rings a bell in your head. But if you remember any of her songs, you know that she's not the loud loud type of artist. She's doing her works in the shadows bit by bit, like quietly. And that's that's the reason why a lot of people are not really giving her the attention she deserves. But generally she's she's doing well for herself. And I feel hate is just a strong word to use in situations like this. Hmm. Maja George, Amare says um, she doesn't feel loved in Ghana. And she says, I think uh, that it also has a lot to do with me being a woman. Ophili said, they don't even get all the love and support. And so it could be a part of that. She thinks, uh, she feels that she has never received so much hatred in her own country. I'm not sure, maybe because she's a woman, that's why she feels that. Uh, she, she's not been loved here in Ghana. You see, the kind of songs that she does, it's very difficult for people to accept you. You see, R&B kind of stuff, this, uh, song, hip-hop kind of songs that she does, it's very, very difficult. Even, I've always been saying Jackie's a very lucky girl. With the kind of songs that she yeah. does and Ghanaians have easily accepted her. So for me, I don't think... I, I like the word you said, uh, the, hate, the hate word is too harsh for, for, for her saying Ghanaians, uh, we, we hate her. You can come to Ghana and you, you can explore more. And I think most of the time, this 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 American based artist who wants, who wants to come to Africa, I think sometimes hey, the promotions too count. Oh. Mm. Promotions count because when when you do a song and you don't promote it well to reach the, to those who want the, you want the songs to reach them, and you do it, it, you feel that ah, what am I doing? Ah, that's, ah, it's like what I'm doing. Cry, I'm on for people. People are not seeing it. So it's like if you, if you, if you watch his promotion strategy. And the kind of songs that uh, she does. 